I feel like an outbox Tyson. I can box as good as he can, and I keep him in the middle of the ring, and I, I can punch as if not better than Tyson. Will this be a win that puts Donnie Long back into the heavyweight picture? This will be a win that let everybody know that Donnie Long is back. This is as bad as I've ever seen Donnie Long look, but give Tyson credit. That's, that's it. it. Wow. The left hand puts him down. He collapses. In the build-up to the Crawford-John fight, Crawford and his team was grossly disrespected by John and his team. It all started when John failed to attend the press conference. Instead of attending, John had a cardboard cutout of him in his place instead. A member of Team Crawford put in his two cents of the situation, which it foreshadowed what was going to take place that Saturday. The, tense, the champ is giving you an opportunity to fight for his title, and you're gonna send a cardboard box, man? Fuck you. That, that's, it makes me mad because that's showing you that you don't have no respect for the champ. At least have enough gratitude to come in and say, thank you, man, for letting me try to challenge you for your title in your hometown. That's where they messed up at. Once you start disrespecting Terrence, and you start disrespecting him, his camp, then you ask him for an ass whooping. After Cro Crawford would, after the fight, put in his two cents. Well, you can look to your left and you can see those two guys over there that called me out. He called me out twice. Did you get what you was looking for? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't you have any respect for him at all as a fighter? As a fighter? I think he should be locked up uh, impersonating a fighter. Liston and his entourage was walking through the casino and he all of a sudden stopped, held up his hand for his crew to stop, pointed over and asked, isn't that Cassius Clay? Liston walked over to the crap table as Clay was playing. As Clay was about to look up, Liston smacked him across the face. Clay said, what would you do that for? And Sonny said, because you two bleeping fresh. And he turned around and just walked away and everybody's walking with him. And Sonny said, I got the punk's heart. That fueled Ali more to give him an absolute boxing lesson, which completely shocked the boxing world as most at the time thought that Ali was a joke. Ali made Liston quit in his corner at the start of the sixth round. He flirted with bigger and bigger money offers from promoters and networks alike. He ridiculed the court battle that forced him to fight a rematch. And most of all, he taunted, he insulted, he trashed the man from whom he had taken the title. Haseem Rotman shocks the world knocking out Lennox Lewis in their first fight. And it got to his head a little too much. For the build up to the rematch, Rotman went on a complete verbal assault to try and get under Lewis's skin. With his mind. You wanna do it now? You wanna do it now? You wanna do it now? No, look at him, look at him. These tactics are always a double-edged sword. If you win, you are a savage badass. If you lose in this fashion, it can be the most embarrassing thing. In this case, Lewis sent Rotman to the Shadow Realm, in which he was never really able to rebound and escape from. This will be the end of Lennox Lewis. If he, if he holds true to his word. You know, he might want to stick around and fight on some of my undercards if he like, which I really don't have a problem with. Not to counter punch. I'm gonna go on and tell you about points or anything like that. I'm planning a complete knockout, utter knockout. I've trained so, so hard. I'm so focused. I've got one vision, and that is a complete knockout, as I keep telling you guys. Uh, and just enjoy the fight, because it's gonna be one unbelievable fight. And there's only one winner, as I always tell you guys in every press conference. You're looking at him, easy. Now this match was obviously gonna make this list. Barrera, whom was quite soft-spoken, and said very little to the build up to the fight. Hamed was a complete ass for no reason. In this situation, Hamed is punching down rather than up or on even grounds. It made him look like the bully, and in most cases, 
there's never a good ending to the bully in these tales. Barrera gave him an absolute ass whooping. It was so bad, it completely ruined Hamed's career, killing his drive to fight. The Prince has developed since he was a boy is being exposed. His moment of truth has turned into an hour of torture. Well, this is for all the Mayweather fans out there. The fight all started off with Hatton roasting Mayweather after knocking out Jose Luis Castillo. Floyd Mayweather, or about a potential fight with Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> I, you know, this fight tonight, what round was it? Round four. I think you saw more action in these four rounds than you've shown the value for money in Floyd's whole career. I'll just leave it at that. Thousands of Hatton supporters flew in to support him, and it opened for a quite an interesting weigh-in, as the Hatton supporters completely drowned out the Mayweather supporters. Who you come to see? Floyd? Me? Who's checking the belts? Mayweather would take Hatton's O and send him and his army back to the UK. Victor Ortiz says some cringy things at times. If you're talking to me, you're literally talking to a tree, bro. But man, this takes the cake here. How are you going to say you're going to be winning all those titles when you still have to handle your business first? Which that is his opponent, Luis Colazzo. This is a perfect case of handling your business first and do your talking last. WBA! WBC! IBS! WBO! You're not fighting, buddy. I, I know You're where. Fighting, I know where. The press conference was held in Los Angeles. Everybody was there. And Fernando challenged his manhood, challenged his ethnicity, challenged everything. I don't even know what was Vargas' big deal, and even to this day, Vargas went on a verbal assault, calling Oscar a sellout, then to rant about he doesn't play golf, wear silk pajamas, I don't cut a CD, I'm here to fight. Literally just like that. Well, on that night, Oscar was there to fight too. Rich guys can fight after all. Absolutely. Just the point I was about to suggest. <laughs> With silk pajamas and all. No matter fight. how many hundreds of millions of dollars are in the bank, silk pajamas, golf, mansions, he still loves to fight. Yeah. So stay away from the guys who eat caviar. <laughs> <laughs> I think if I could... And Vargas Vargas, he has another... If he could make Fernando Vargas eat his words. If he could knock him out. When watching the broadcast of this fight, when Vargas is entering the arena, Chavez Sr. is by his side. After losing and heading to the locker room, he is nowhere to be found on frame. Prior to the fight, but usually, especially when you have a real brutal fight like this where both guys was hurting each other, you develop respect along the way. But in this case, your blood bud still exists. Glovkin and most of the buildups to his fights, he's a rather polite, well-mannered prize fighter, especially back in 2013. Curtis Stevens had absolutely no chill to the build-up to this fight. Abel was writing checks that Gennady's ass can't cash. Come Saturday, I'm gonna fuck Gennady up. Have a good day. Stevens trolls Golovkin on Twitter by posting an image with his boys, having a candlelight visual by a makeshift grave labeled, Rest in Peace, GGG. I ain't even mad. This is just pure entertainment right here. Besides the embarrassing knockdown, Stevens, unlike almost all of the people on this list, did have some moments. Good right hand by the left hand. Good left hook by the left hand. Down goes 
Stevens. There it is. Cossack Thunder in round number two. And Stevens doesn't look all that good. My last question for him, just, I asked him, you serious? You serious? Okay, yeah, I'm serious. But at the end of the day, Golovkin made him a good boy. And on top of that, this is Curb Your Cloud, the boxing edition. For more installments, be sure to like, and if you're new, subscribe. I am Office Hancho, and I'm out.